This episode was brought to you by our generous patrons. Want to vote on the next game we play? Consider becoming a patron. And we are back for some intel. Did we already read Gestalt no, Report read number two? Well, we, if we have, I don't remember. Like, I don't know what we've read and what we haven't read, honestly. Do we want to start on Gestalt Report number two, then? I, I mean, most of the stuff we've already seen. Like, the only thing that's, like, newish, I think, is just this stuff, which is, like, the top secret your horror project, like, Yora project. Everything else is stuff that I remember we saw through the game. Okay. Project Yora is a comprehensive information project intended to enhance Android morale. This entry details the circumstances that led to its proposal, as well as information related to operations conducted during its individual phases. Note that this document is marked with level S confidentiality, unless we gave it to you on accident or on purpose, we'll see. And should not be disclosed to any Yorha personnel save for the commander, which the commander gave it to 9S in any way. Human, in a, uh, human extinction. On the collapse of the Project Gestalt around 3400 CE. What is CE? Christ Common extinction. Era. Uh, I'm joking. The remaining androids searched for a way to revive humanity, but they were unable to discover an answer, and human, uh, humans went extinct by roughly 4200 CE. Afterward, the genes of Gestalt's and structural information of the remaining replicants were recorded and sent to a storage facility on the moon. Loss of android morale. <gasps> the news of humanity's extinction was meant to be closely guarded secret, but rumors of the event eventually began to leak out. I wonder why. Having lost the one thing which they were programmed to protect, android morale began a precipitous decline. Concerning by this turn of events, concerned by this turn of events, Command designed Project Yorha as a means to lift android spirits. <laughs> we're fucking, we're fucking cheerleaders for it. Mm -hmm. Project 0103 Luna Server. The first stage of the project was spreading the word among resistance groups uh, that humanity was not, in fact, extinct, and that the last remaining remnants had managed to escape to the moon. This deception was supported by installing a communication server on the lunar surface to send regular transmissions. Said server was designed to be manned by as few maintenance personnel as possible. Project 2-1, established by the Yorha Squadron, uh, through the dramatic alteration of the next generation combat unit project that, what does it say, NGCUP? NGUP! That had been proposed at the time New Yorha, parentheses, models began to be manufactured. Officials models, officials models were created following the implementation of data acquired from an experimental squadron and were then deployed to all regions. Certain members of the Yorha operations staff, however, were informed of the full scope of the project, probably the commander. These units were tasked to operate and protect the server on the moon. Okie dokie. Okay. Was that the only one we really needed to catch up on? I mean, this is one thing that we got, but Mondays and Thursdays, paper attached to vehicle. Mondays and Thursdays? Yeah. This is like mysterious lithograph, the thing that we got. Focus on the rules. This is just stuff from the old world, so it's just like random stuff. Um, protest and opposition to spiritual preservation method that was discovered, you know, disclosed as level one information related to Project Assault sprung to the in the areas. The committee continues to receive formal complaints from our research team regarding the collection of biased data as a result of Gestalt's project being conducted on sick and elderly. Yeah, the number of civi uh, civilians having undergone the project Gestalt process remain at four. Remember that. Public relations are will be established in order to better control information. That always works. And improve our image. We will also consider rescheduling the project itself if such action becomes necessary. I feel like I need to know more about the word Gestalt in order to actually understand this a little bit better. I think I have the slightest we of inclinations. Laboratory indicating that the basic technology of Replicant system is expected to be completed by the end of August. <gasps> August. Verifications of its safety along with clinical trials will be conducted from September through November. A report will be submitted by the Prime Minister indicating that the completion of the Replicant system will be present, represent, represent a tremendously for Project Assault. Okay, project relations department. What? what it was just saying it's gonna like be handled by the relations department because they set that up in the last one in order to manage how it's being put out into the 
rest of humanity. Because uh-huh. this is all from the old world. This is when humans were still around. I wasn't following along. So, as Project Assault undergoes approval in the countries across the world, we recognize that there will there have been imperfections in how information has been regulated with regards to civilians until the safety of the final system has been verified. All information related to this matter is subject to level four classification. As such, its relation to the Ministry of Health and Welfare's life rehabilitation program must be strictly kept confidential. Furthermore, we ask the following information to be sent to all related personnel and organization immediately. Clauses regarding compensation in the event of information leaks are to be added to contracts with partner companies in the event of information leak. Uh, ascertaining the source should be the company's highest priority. Um, please refer to Countermeasure C for information on how to handle leaked information as well as individuals who disclosed it. Kill them. All right, that seems to be the majority of like information that people wanted us to read. So yeah, we remember 11B's escape plan. That was from when we recovered that body. I don't think there's anything else other than maybe like weapon stories and stuff like mm, that. I don't think weapon um, stories are a big deal. But yeah. And I think some of these are just, you know, references to other games. I think that's what like they that. are. I think they're just references basically being like, oh, Masamune decided that he wanted to fuck the sword so he made it just more perfect than his wife. Yeah. His wife divorced well, him. Well, we went through the archives, guys. Tried to fuck the sword. Um, so, yeah, unless we miss something, that seems to be the majority There's of stuff. There's no way we can miss something. There was only like a thousand pages and we read four of them. Yeah. But, um, that should have been the thing that was mission critical. If yeah. I was to glean any kind of information beyond, beyond what you guys commented. Um, I'm gonna put that set back on. Plug-in ships. Nope, oh, not customize. Equip. There we go. Three. And I hack into all of them, right? Uh huh. Mm hmm. There's like two right there. And I'll take those ones. Keep hacking. They definitely didn't set this up no. to fuck with you. Not at all. Nines. <laughs> We're not on the planet Hoth or anything. Hoth. Ooh. What is Hoth from? Star Wars? Yeah. Empire Strikes Back. Yeah, thought so. Um, <clears throat> I saw a. Uh, let me describe a joke to you guys so it's not funny anymore. Good. I love <laughs> those kind of jokes. They're my favorite kind. Yeah, no, dry, dry, shitty humor. I, I, I know. I love dry humor. I, no, I know. That's why I'm describing it as that. So <laughs> I know you do. Dry humor's the best. Uh, it's basically a picture of, of uh, Chewy uh, bathing Han Solo. And he's like, remember, wash your Hans. Look, ah, it's really good. topical. I like it. Um, but it was it was funny enough to be like, haha, silly. I don't remember the source. I apologize. I'm sure you can look it up. Um, but yeah, I thought it was, I thought it was topical. It was shared by one of our nurse friends, and I was like, ha 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 ha. Glad to see that they still have a sense of humor, as dry and shitty as it is. <laughs> Where? Yeah, it's over here. It's yeah, two one. options. <laughs> if the first one don't work, the second one's gonna do it. Maybe. Oh. Yeah, I think I think it's gonna be a, it's a whole storytelling one. hacking section of just like, oh, survive through it, learn everything that happens. Also, it's a trial. We're telling you story stuff while it occurs. My you have one card. HP left. Yeah. <laughs> one HP. Oh. I didn't even see that one hit me. Uh, try that one again. Robo Bobos, why did oh. you have to have such a difficult hacking procedure? Whoop. There you Take go. That one out. Ow. Uh huh. That's my shit. I heard. Uh, speaking of. Yeah. <laughs> and I believe it was Pink. Pink had uh the disease. Yeah, and got over it or something yeah, like that. Yeah, which is great. Anyone. I hope that gets it. Uh, gets even, over it. Even shitty people, I hope, get over it because yeah. each person who gets it is going to be a vector. All right, I'm going to so. try and do a different one first since I keep screwing up on that one. All right, hack this one. You have to do them all, but yeah, I understand what you're saying. I don't know, maybe you should go for the left one. It obviously goes somewhere. I think each one is going to have a room <laughs> I think that I is. have to take out. I think it is too. Oh no, not the orange! 
It's either orange or purple, so I choose the lesser of two evils. Yeah. The orange is Got the it. same as the purple. But yeah, I get what you're saying. Might as well die to yourself on a on a wall. Exactly. Then die, die to, to an a enemy. Oh. That's the Yorha way. Yorha way. Frivolity in fighting nothing. Literally nothing. <laughs> yeah, literally nothing. They're well, and they are fighting alien invaders, but not for much of a good. Purpose. No, I meant I meant during the hacking section. There was literally nothing there, and it appeared inside of you, and it killed oh, you. Oh yeah. Because it appeared inside of your general radius. But yeah, I think the point of it is to just... You don't have a time limit. Play it as safe as you can. Because it's a whole level where you only have 3 HP. And if you're more prone to being uh, attack heavy, then you'll end up losing enough life to go through by the time you're done with it. But uh, yeah, you're, you're absolutely doing that. How I think they intend it. Just, just cut a hallway out. Spawn them and then move and back around. Them, yeah. yeah, funnel them through. Get that phalanx. Ha ha! Fucker! Exactly. Just play it. Play safe. There, uh, oh, I thought you were gonna move left. Nah. <laughs> so shoot these and back up. There you go. Yeah, not this time. Not this time, you fucking fox. Maybe next time, but not this time. <laughs> <laughs> I already got one fox to deal with. I don't need more foxes. No more foxies. Oh! I have a quota of one fox in a box, and that's it. Fox box? Any more than fox, one fox in a box, and that's too many foxes. That's too many foxes. Some of them are going to want cookies and milk. Yeah. Nice. Or to be put outside. How dare a dog want to be put outside? Power up part M. But we're not talking These about dogs. The... We're talking about foxes. You're right. You're right. But they're both canines. That's true. Uh, so, uh, power up part M... That was one of the items yeah. you needed to recover things, right? It's from one of the pod things. Yeah. Ooh. Ah! Back it up, Sam! I itched my nose. How dare you? Don't touch your fucking face. I'm not. I used my, the cloth on my <laughs> shirt. I did it safely, goddammit! I used the cloth on my shirt, pulled it up, and used that to scratch my nose. So yeah. I'm doing pretty much everything. It's like, uh, and I have allergies, so I'm like, not gonna say that's a safe way, but it is safer than just straight hands. Yeah. There you go. It needs to be scratched. So something's got to scratch. <laughs> it needs to be scratched. I have a face and I must scratch it. <laughs> yeah. Would you turn around? It won't. It guides off of your position. So you can lead it and then double back around. There you go. <laughs> you sci-fi nerds, which one of you got that? Let me know in the comments. Um, <laughs> I haven't I haven't read that book either. So what book? I can't. That, <sighs> It, it defeats the joke for me to say the name of the of what I'm referencing. Ender's Game? No, no, it's a different one. But uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, you're fucked. Shit. Yeah, you let yourself into that one. Done a couple times of that. You got out real fucking nice. There you go. Shoot the oranges, clear pathway, and then cycle I through. I watched Star Wars. <laughs> I, I've watched one pop culture thing. I, I also know all of pop culture. I know how to dodge things like a dig <laughs> didgeridoo. There's just this not a thing you dodge. Didgeridoos don't, don't dodge things, dude. No, they don't. But you <laughs> don't play you know? Sound though. Ah, <laughs> uh, you made me sad. Why? Because we we go to the Scottish games and stuff, and there is the Do wicked they have didgeridoos there. Yeah, there's oh. the wicked tinkers. I thought which... didgeridoos were Australian. I mean, it, it doesn't matter whether they are or not, and yes, they are Australian, as far as I believe. Uh, but the, uh, the band, Wicked Tinkers, which, uh, go check them out on Facebook and probably watch some of their stuff. Uh, T-I-N-K-E-R-S. Uh, Wicked Tinkers. They, uh, they show up at a lot of our, our, um, what do you call them? Events? Uh, events that are, like, Local-ish? a... Well, it's... Not exactly Renfair, but it's what would be the term? Renfair. I guess Renfair esque. Yeah, I mean Scottish games is a Renfair. E kind of yeah. It's, it's not Ren Renaissance, but yeah, yeah, but it, yeah. It's a it's a Renfair. It's in the Renfair genre. It's it's a it's close enough to be like, hey, are you talking semantics or are you are you not? Yeah. Um, but they show up and they're they're really awesome. Oh, you got one HP I've been to left. a Renfair and I've been to the Scottish games. They both feel the same. That's, that's, 
that's different. <laughs> they they both feel like they have the same vibe to them. It's like, yep, yeah, there's mutton and there's people eating like turkey legs. <laughs> I've and... never seen mutton, man. I've never seen mutton. Okay, well, mutton's the <laughs> there's first There's gouge and then there's, or, and then there's also like watercolors, but there's also like acrylic. They're well, all the same. It's all fucking paint on a canvas. I mean, gouge and watercolor are actually very similar. There's really not too much of a difference between them, and you can mix <laughs> the mediums together. They actually go really well because they're both water. What I'm saying paints. is, for an entertaining, the only simple real thing. difference with them is technically uh, with gouache, you um, no, it's gouge. No, it's it's not definitely gouge. gouge. But with gouache, you have to. It's a thicker medium, so you can kind of you can still dilute it. Like watercolor, but what about oil? Um, oil is more of a. It, it doesn't have. It doesn't have tactile kind of sensations. A, oil's kind of a pain because you have to use turpentine. Pain or not? Well, no, because you have pain to use turpentine not, to clean the, your it's brush. It's the sensation of having to have that medium there. I've done oil It is the classes. devotion of doing those things. Oil paints are it really is, cool. It is the but... pure artistic aspect of. Nobody else can do this but me. The cleanup process of oil is just such a pain in the butt because you have to use turpentine to clean your brush and yeah. you have to do all this other stuff. So <gasps> it, you can't just dump turpentine down a drain. You have to dispose of it properly. The following document details that I agree. The following <laughs> dispose of your products appropriately as according to the manufacturer's recommendations. The following documents detail the final stages of product Yoha. Note that this document has been marked with level SS. Uh, I confidentiality. Know Sonic was in this game. <laughs> Sonic? Yeah, I was every, thinking the in German... Sonic Adventure, you can get double S ranks for like. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah for the perfects. Yep. Yeah. And should not be disclosed to any Yorha personnel, including the bunker commander, Black Box. Each Yorha unit is equipped with a Black Box. An item created to reuse the core of a machine life form. As such, it should, uh, could be said that the consciousnesses s -s 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 of Yorha units and machine life forms share the same structure. Said Black Boxes were installed after determining that it would be inhumane to install standard AI in androids that are ultimately designed for disposal. For the record, malfunctioning Black Boxes have caused some Yorha units to turn hostile. Interesting. I, I kind of get it, yeah. So we're seeing the evolution. Box circuitry. It's made from cores from the but yeah, like there's a difference yeah. between Scottish games and Renaissance fairs, but it's can't be true. they're fairly like similar. If you went to a layman and asked them, hey, do you see anything different? It's like, well, this seems kind of similar. I would never go to a lame man and All ask them. I guess it's no, it's over on that side then. The oh. uh, yeah, I was gonna say, don't jump off. You're gonna, you're gonna go for the next area. Yeah, because then it popped me down <laughs> all the way and after right after the elevator. Someone right now in the comments is going, "You guys didn't realize now you're not having a fit over the fact that black boxes are made from machine parts." No, I, yeah, I got it. Cool. Oh yeah, I got, yeah, I got Wait, it. Wait, that's what you said? I wasn't listening. Sam, <laughs> what the fuck? No comments. Blow this motherfucker up. I was reading it, but I was also That's reading my comments. That's what he said! Sam! <sighs> Sam! My coffee tastes like a black box. You fucking... That's gross. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How dare you eat machine parts? You nasty man. Yeah, that's what they said, man. Interesting. How is the little bit of story that we get you're gonna fucking go over? Um, I'm actually in here. I don't know, I just zoned out for that moment. No, not for that moment, this is a continual thing! I don't know, I zoned out that moment. I'm paying attention What's now. What's going on here? My body. My Those body! My memories. But why? <laughs> He's gonna go to the beginning of Kingdom Hearts where it's like, which do you choose, a sword or a shield? Or Would a you, do you want defense or do you want to attack? <laughs> this is literally what the fucking is. Ooh. I'm joking. I'm obviously fucking joking. Stop fucking being mad. That's two beast data. <gasps> I wonder if I can fuck it. Sorry. Sorry again, guys. Sorry. I mean, Adam did say he wanted to. I know these are just memories. He's got a dick. He's literally got a fucking dick but hanging still, out right there. It's a yes. polygonal one. I, it's a sword. I get it. Chris, you don't understand the intricacies no, of fucking android do dicks. This. Damn it, stop! He is unstable. I get you. Okay, nice. okay. Billy, no! <laughs> it's Billy! Steve, the hell? Back it up. Oh 
Uh, I mean, actually, technically, because 2B was there, they belong to her, too. Stop being so fucking selfish, Nines. Poor Nines. Everything he knew was just gone. I feel How fun. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, one, I might not do it for the for the boxes. My memories, you hear me? I don't know why, but every time I see them straddling another thing, I think sexual, and now I feel really bad looking at what it became as I said those words. <laughs> a little bit of regret. No, it's just like he's straddling a bunch of blocks. I'm like, why is this sexual? And then, then as soon as I'm saying it, it's literally a dead body with blood spurting out. I was like, oh, god damn it. God damn it. Oh, poor nights. Hey, you can't blame me for fucking having, what's his name, Yoko Taro? He is a kinky... Making kinky. things sexual. He's a kinky dude. He's I'm just okay. observing it. Nice Ocean access life. key. Because I can go to the other one now. What is the other one? The other. Oh, the other tower. Yeah, the other tower. I think it's I was like pop the Colosseum. Into... What are you talking no, no, about? No, 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 no. I was thinking of elevators and stuff like that. That one hit me. That one hit me hard. Mm. This is the current status. I feel for nights. I can. Nothing. Relate. Nothing wrong with that one. Affirmative. His mental state has become dangerously unstable. Action must be taken immediately. I noticed something while providing support to A2. Enemy this bitch crazy. Have begun sharing data with each other. Hmm. Wait now. We better look into that. No. I'll share the data with you, so see what you can find out. Affirmative. I also have a separate report about. You guys are like mess. 15 chapters behind. What is it? I'll share the data. His psychological state has deteriorated to a grave level. Yeah, we his words crumbling around him. Too. Crumbling around Agreed. him. And I get that's the point, commenters. Uh, like, oh sure shit, I don't know what yeah. <laughs> Agreed. Don't blame you, machine. There's not a lot you can do. With data checking and maintenance. Agreed. So here's make the suggestion immediately. I'll say my problem after this. Okay, I'll say my problem now. They obviously have some sort of sentience, whether it be a machine sentience. Where's the next resource recovery unit? He's hurt. Alert. NFCS failure. Speculation. Failure caused by intense combat and lack of maintenance. Yeah, you get to the fucking maintenance down. depot. Great. Proposal. Overhaul system at resistance camp. I okay. Don't have that kind of time. No, you do. You had to kind of pass by it. battle without a functioning sword constitutes an unacceptable <laughs> risk. Unit 9S should have to initiate repairs at the resistance camp. Yeah, the Vola and Popola. P Popola? So you go to the resistance camp. Yeah. Uh, me to at the resistance camp right above the map. Uh, what I'm saying is that the pods seem to have some sort of semblance of a sentience. And some of it may be like, oh, if this, then that. I get that. But they also seem to have some sort of moral quandaries. So when the time comes to not inform A2 of 2B stuff or A2 of 9S's stuff, because the memories were transferred and everything, the context isn't given. And it's like, yes, that is for story purposes entirely. But it's a little bit like, wait, so why are we doing memory specific missions if literally the pod knows? Either one, let the pod tell the antagonist. That's not their place, Or the protagonist, though. or, or let them play dumb to it but they're literally giving the facility of the pods to be like hey we are aware of this and the pods whether their place or not if you don't think it's their place have they not interrupted a2 a million times saying i won't give you help unless you acknowledge this they have the capacity to do that oh dear what happened to you Wounded my pp got hurt nfcs not functioning I'm amazed you were even able to. I mean, drive all the pods do here. is reiterate what the current this situation is. It's not just so that. Just I'll re touch. I'll remind you about it. What it is after this, but this is terrible. Your motor cortex is full of holes. Sexy. I can't believe you even managed to walk here. <laughs> NFCS fully recovered. With the sparkles. All right, you're all good. Wait, was that even her voice anymore? <laughs> no, yeah, what I was saying was, uh, do you remember no, when A2? 
was working with the pod from, I believe it was 2B. I don't think 2B would want that either. I know. Do you remember when that was happening and A2 was like, can you just shut the fuck up and stop saying these things? And they were like, unless you uh, acknowledge this or this or that, blah, 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 I can't move on. And A2 had to essentially yeah, go It was the, the last commandment made by 2B, so it was following the orders directed by its previous owner. But it was still, we see them acknowledging this, and then we have to, outside of that one little zone, acknowledge that they're probably just gonna abide by different rules, even though we show them, it Honestly, shows them that to felt like that. the same rules that they'd always followed by. They follow the directives of their current person that's in charge of them and it, it was just following the order. It doesn't seem that. so because they're talking amongst themselves and then they're deciding things. It's yeah. not an order. Well, they're they're not... making a logic system of, of defining which one they should go with. Their which logic... is very computer. It yeah. is. But if, if it seems that the logic would be like, hey, maybe we can inform this person so things would work out better for us, they always fault on that side. Now, that's hard to do in a video game and it's hard to do in a story I don't blame them but when entire missions are based off of that it's like ah that kind of hurts because you're you're literally bookending the mission with them talking about the exact mission and they know the knowledge that they need in order to get it through yeah that's not their place though they're saying it after the missions too well they're saying it also in between the missions Mm, and before giving, and after, they're giving context. What it is is a narrator's yeah, they're, perspective they're trading. in the form of a machine. Yeah, now, are they saying it after? Possibly. They might be saying this after, but it seems contextually based off of the time that is happening. And that's why I'm like, mm, why can't these pods give a little bit more context to things? Because they don't have sentience. And but they do. Not their place. They, they have they little, they have conversations. They don't. They discuss that's, it. That's the like, that's the game doing Proposition. Of, maybe we shouldn't tell a person about this because they're emotional fucking thing. They're yeah, thinking. They're they their, know they're sentient. They're no, enough. they're not. They're computers. They're going through their logic protocols to like be like, well, maybe we should do this course of action. If and the logic protocols it. were there, I believe, according to how some of the operators deal with it, there should be no emotion, but they are taking emotion into account. That's why I'm saying they have sentience enough to be like, uh, no, based don't. off of their emotions, we should do this. Although emotion should be just out of the fucking not even allowed. So why is it programmed in? They don't have emotions. No, the pods don't, but they're acknowledging the emotions of 9S right now. They yeah. have been, and they're they're recommending certain things based off of that. Him being unstable is what they're recommending their next actions on, not which one would be the most you know accurate outside of that. They're taking human emotions oh. in, Mark and that seems really weird for androids who shouldn't map. have that. I don't see any flaws with the way the pods are being portrayed, honestly. Like, I'm not trying to just be against your theory, but truthfully, everything they've been doing so far kind of makes sense to me. Like, they're following their protocol, they're doing how they've been programmed and what to follow. They're not supposed to be divulging information to the individual units because they're still following the Yorha protocol. Are they not helping out with the memories of 2B? No. That's not their purpose. Are they not helping out with that at all? No. They're, that's Did not they their not directive. divulge any information? That's not what they're going for. They only go for whatever they like the last directive they were given. And they only gave that information the to The last directive they weren't A2 was like she's like, "Oh, this is the last, you know, thing of my previous owner." So like they're given that context, but unless they're asked, asked about it, they're not going to forego information. That's just how it works for them. Yeah, I guess. Just, it, yeah, they honestly, it seems all fine dandy to me. It's like, no, that seems like what a computer would do. It's relaying information back and forth to others, trading information as resources would do. So they're going above and beyond that. That's a white. Yeah, I don't really get it. Um, I don't even think they're going above and beyond. They're trading information back and forth between the two pods because they're like, well, we're the only neural network we're going on right now. So it's like. We're trying to objectively do what Yorha wants to get done, so they're like, mm, what's the best course of direction? So they're thinking. No, they're not thinking. They're literally following like their <laughs> list of protocols. They don't have sentience. They have a protocol for if Yorha goes down and then the machines take over? Yeah. They, they follow a certain 
path of logic. So the path of lo logic is not to give context to things to other people like A2 or yeah. 2B or 9S? Yeah, that's not part of their directive because that stuff, information is supposed to be secure. So that's not How? something- How? They, they're willingly giving information from 2B to A2. And, they typically only give information when the context- And they're traveling between 9S like, and, and A2 necessary. and- Well, not A2, I might've got that wrong. Uh, 2B. Oh, No village, no nothing. That's sad. That's... Shut up, Nine. Oh, fuck. The pod deleted way more than we expected. Machine arms. Do you ah. have three of them? You have 14 of them. Children's, Children's cores? cores? What? <laughs> we go back down to it. What did it say? The cores of children for Pascal's village is clear. They were cherished by the villagers. Can be exchanged for money. Are you fucking kidding me? Damn. They literally put that. Wait, okay. Unless there's a mission. It says can be exchanged for money. You're literally buying them to sell them back? Uh, not that That's, that's sad. You're not sad about that? I'm more intrigued as like what you can do with those parts. Custom marker. <laughs> uh, what's this one? Current that's the parade grounds, I believe. I think so. Just yeah. by shape, I think it's the parade grounds. It does seem to be right around there. All right. So then it wants me to go over there. You're, uh, you're not sad at all that he's selling the parts of the children that he tried to protect? I mean, yeah, I guess it's a little sad. Um, you were more sad about the flaming village while nobody was dying than you are about him literally fucking organ selling the children that he tried to protect and then got memory blanked? Yeah, yeah I guess, yeah. Man. But honestly, yeah, the, the pot thing. I, I don't know. It just the way they're going. I'm not about on the pot life. thing. I'm on the fucking him selling body parts of the people he tried to protect thing right now. All right, I think I can get to the main entrance this way. Hey zombie, yep, how's yep, it going? Here to the right, and then take it down. Move to the left again. Yep, go right again. Yep, that's the typical way. Zombo. Nope. Where you trying to go? Bracelet. I was trying to get to see if that flower was still here, but it's not. Is it, is it in that, is it in the hallway? I looked in the hallway, it wasn't there. I mean, is it in that hallway? I'm pretty sure that was your hallway it was in, yeah. Ooh. This is the resource recovery unit. <clears throat> now activating defense mode. Oh no. Good. You don't have to do that. Over Just leave yourself over. defenseless. Over and over. Motherfucker. I love how, I love how Nines is like, I've had to do this three times now. The same thing three times. I think Meanwhile, the player is. Well, now this will be the third time. Yeah. Over and over is not twice. It is a repetitive situation. Meanwhile, we as the player are going, oh, what playthrough is this? See? Fuck. <laughs> I'm still engaged, but we're going to see you guys later. We'll see you guys later. Sam's still engaged. Beep up out. Go to the marked recovery unit. So it looks like I just go inside of there. So there's just gonna be a bunch of keys I need to get. Cool. That's probably gonna let me go into the tower after that. How many keys? Three. Three keys to get into the third tower. Get that trio going on. Everything good comes in threes. I'm assuming it's three. Maybe it's more. Maybe it's less. Wait, how? Wait, what did you? What made you guess three? 